We're in Glendree and we're looking at natural regeneration happening at over 1,000 feet above sea level where the hill upland meets uh, bog and up beyond us then at the top we have uh, like an area of blanket bog and we're, we're in the transition phase between soil and bog and we're still getting trees mostly willow uh, and rowan and again if this wasn't grazed this whole hillside would be forested naturally uh, with this uh, pioneer it's kind of montane uh, woodland dwarf woodland keeping its head down because of the exposure to the wind and uh, it's telling us what what these what these uplands actually want to be naturally and within the willow the darker gray would be rowan you'd see them sprinkled protected by the willow heavily browsed rowan not quite dead still has some tiny shoots this is deer kind of country you talked about deer here but they're still also cattle grazing or cattle sheep. is also great yeah cattle also coming right up here yeah as we go further up onto the blanket bog we'll still see rowan marching onto the bog even though they keep getting cut back the rowan is is surviving up here under these conditions which is you know pretty amazing we're up this far an area of blanket bog so there's your classic sphagnum moss Ooh. What is the status of this uh, blanket bog? I think it's SAC. But like we see a drain in here. So that is very bad news of course for the for the bog. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the management plan is here, you know. But as you say, there's a drain. It is uh, draining, which is drying it out and impacting on it as well. So up to the transition between soil and actual peat there is natural re regeneration here which tells us <coughs> that's what was more than likely on these hills up to the point where it meets the bog in the past you know when this was again a great forest the great forest of Ockley.